couldn't rack this no matter how hard you tried now. It looks nice and straight, but we don't want that deck sticking over anywhere. Yep, right here. See how it's sticking over just a hair? Yep, that's what we want to fix. It's always nice to get it painted before you start putting your brick and roofing on there. All the seams are nice and taped up with a nice overlap. This is a, a stucco wrap, you see? There's little little ridges in there that allows moisture to get behind the stucco and actually drain between the stucco and this. Believe it or not, that little bit of channeling in there will allow moisture to come out the back side of this. If you use the regular Tyvek, it does not allow it. It's too tight. It holds moisture in it and eventually it works itself through this, through the Tyvek. But we use a stucco Tyvek on all of our stucco projects. Minimal stapling too. Don't want any more penetrations than necessary. So if I see something on the project, text them right away so don't forget. That looks good. Wow, this is close. This is close, but since we're gonna do uh, our, our own, I'm not gonna worry about this, it's not sheet rocked. What happens is, is sometimes people think, oh, we're not gonna get sheet rocked. It's a garage. But you can't count on that. So you move these over and make sure that they're they're out of the range of a nail penetrating it. But since we're doing this with our own guys on the inside, we'll, we'll make sure to mark them. And we're putting OSB plywood on the inside. This OSB that we see here is also gonna be on the outside. And that way the owner has a fully insulated and workshop surface. So you can see we're putting a little bit of decking up here. We've got one more strip to finish. So that's a 5 8 decking on top of a 3 quarter, I think. So it looks like a 3 quarter. These trusses were built up heavy so that we could do that. You can see that there's a thick bottom cord on there. And this is going to allow for a pull down stair and for good attic storage up there. That may be why they didn't finish it, because they want to put that attic. That attic entrance right in that area. In a nice garage with a nice little work area. And what an easy way to get a boat in such a wide, wide door. A wide and extra tall door, too. So, this is what it looks like before it looks like the house. Everything's being done correctly, though. It looks really good. And, you know, kind of one of the things we talked about when we were here before was where these these uh, portal framing straps. Now they're covered up with Tyvek, but these go on into the concrete deep in there and every one of them is nailed. You can feel all the nails in here. So an inspector can actually feel the nails to see that they were nailed off properly. And this gives, what it does is it prevents racking of a front building. The wall right here that we see, this long wall, even if it were much shorter, it's solid covered with sheathing, OSB sheathing. So it makes it extremely rigid. It will not go side to side. A building can, can be very rigid on top, but if it's not rigid down below, it can actually start to sway and rock in the right wind conditions. When you cut a big opening like this into a building, it significantly weakens it. When you put OSB on the side, on this panel, it strengthens it, but not enough. Over here, yes, it's got enough of it to strengthen it. But portal framing, when you make a hole, it's called portal framing. That's what we've been talking about here. 
that's what gives it the strength. It actually transfers the strength so that it cannot rock. It pulls, it makes this so rigid. These straps are so big, they cannot bend side to side. They can bend this way, but they can't bend side to side. And that means you're not gonna get this rocking. We've got one, two, three, four of those in this, in this front opening. That allows you to make this smaller. Otherwise, if you don't have these, you have to make this wall about this big. And that's a lot of wasted space for a garage. You don't want that in a garage, typically. So this is how you accomplish it right here. And we've done it right. It's gonna, you couldn't rack this no matter how hard you tried now. So we're gonna have some beautiful little windows here and some beautiful stucco. At the, after we do the stucco, we will plaster the foundation. And the next time we come, that might be just what you see. So it's gonna look just like the home and we'll be getting a boat in there soon.